Tornadoes in Arkansas often touch down in rural areas, but Hot Springs Village is a population center, about 15,000 call it home, and those in the Andalusia neighborhood there saw some of the worst effects of the tornado. You can see our Lisa Hudson has spent the day there. She joins us now live with the latest. Lisa? Well, Chris, the cleanup here started at sunrise. Everything from chainsaws to cranes being used to remove pine trees from homes homes like Janet Davis's home, just to see what's left. No, I just appreciate the guys doing it, yeah. It's a hard sight to see, a crane pulling trees off the roof of your home. Janet Davis still shaken by the storm. A couple of pops and the wind was blowing a little bit, but not, not like a tornado or anything. And then we got the alert on the phones and uh, I went into the laundry room and uh, came back out and it was pretty bad. Residents here say it didn't take long, 30 seconds to a minute to turn their quiet wooded neighborhood into a disaster area. Pine trees snapping like twigs. Davis says at least four of those trees crashing through her roof. The bedroom ceiling was leaking and pouring on the bed and um, the deck was gone and uh, I looked out and it was, it was bad. It's a sweet little house. So go and get to fix it up. Davis and her family now staying with neighbors across the street until her sweet little house comes back to life. A long road ahead, but one she is grateful she isn't traveling alone. Good help out here. Good people helping us. So we're doing okay. Good neighbors. Now another example of neighbors helping neighbors. Willis and Sons Roofing Company is feeding anyone who needs a meal tonight. With so many people left without power, they're actually cooking hamburgers and hot dogs. That's happening in behind the Walgreens near the west gate of the village for anyone in need. On your side in Hot Springs Village, I'm Lisa Hudson. Back okay, Lisa. Yeah, thanks so much for that. The Arkansas Department of Emergency Management says that the tornado uprooted hundreds of trees and snapped utility poles in half. Power does remain out uh, to a little more than 1,500 customers in Garland and Saline County.